what's going on everyone decided to do some more rankings videos might as well while i'm waiting on more soap soap orders to deliver so for this video i'm doing my top menthol based soaps and i won't be including like every bar that has menthol in it but we're going to be doing bars that really feature it as a highlighted ingredient like it's really menthol forward there are a lot of great bars out there that have plenty of menthol but i'm talking about the ones that really make it a big part of the specific bar itself i want to make sure i have everything with me okay so we're going to start off this is going to be let me explain how i'm going to rank these it's kind of going to be obviously a little bit biased i'm not just ranking them by which one has the most menthol it's also going to be how it's incorporated into the overall scent of the bar as well so usage and scent profile are both going to be a big part of this so let's start this is my top five let's start at number five here number five is going to be deep ocean from lather this bar, uh, all five of these bars, I really do like a lot. This bar right here, it definitely has a nice, I wouldn't know, I wouldn't call it an ocean scent necessarily, but it really has a nice deep cooling menthol scent. And I really like all the sea salt they put in here. Uh, I think it really actually helps balance the bar. It does give it a little bit of an oceany feel to it. It's very, very cooling, very heavy grit bar. Uh, it's it's a lot to handle but it's a good bar very heavy grit lots and lots of menthol and it also does have a nice little bit of a eucalyptus type scent to it a little bit of a peppermint scent to it so it's not bad i would say more peppermint than eucalyptus really i do like the bar it is number five there are some other ones on this list i do like better but it's a good bar um it's a very it's a very very fresh feeling and it's very very heavy on the menthol very heavy on the grit. I'm not always the biggest fan of heavy grit bars. It's a lot when you have all the menthol and all the, the pumice in here and the sand. It's a lot, but it's definitely a, a good bar for the the hot summer heat. So Deep Ocean, my number five. While you guys are watching this, let me know what your favorite menthol bar is in the comments. Number four. Number four. This is very tough for me, actually. Um, very 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 tough because i love all of these bars number four is actually going to be a bar that kind of has fallen in my rankings i do love it though that is the icy eucalyptus bar this bar i think has one of the best menthol ratios in it it's packed full um i do love this bar quite a bit and in this rankings video you will not be seeing arctic aloe and you will not be seeing old saint nick on vacation from sudsy bear if you guys if that's your favorite go ahead and put it in the comments that's fine i didn't include it in this list because this is really more of like the bars that incorporate menthol into the scent profile as well arctic aloe they just basically added the menthol to the the bar they already had same thing with old saint nick on vacation these bars are a little more original so icy eucalyptus it's in the name like it's a part of the bar itself does have some good exfoliation. This is obviously one of the older bars. Uh, the reformulated version, they did a great job making it smell less like a toothpaste and more fresh and minty. This has a really good menthol, a ton of packed full of menthol, just packed full of everything really, packed full of peppermint, packed full of eucalyptus, spearmint. It's a very, very, very heavy minty bar, tons and tons of mint, probably more minty than any of these other bars in the list which I think is actually why I ended up dropping it down just a little bit because of how much mint is in here. It's a great bar and it's great for summer, but sometimes the mint just overpowers me too much. So that's why it's number number four on my list. This is where it differentiates from Deep Ocean. Yes, there is some peppermint in here, but this is more of a salty, minty, like peppermint fresh. This is more of just heavy, heavy mint, mint leaves, mint oil, menthol, eucalyptus it's just a powerhouse so in their different ways they're both great this one has oats in it for exfoliation so that is that is my number four bar number three is a great bar because of how unique it is 
that is the Arctic Blueberry. One of the best formulations out there for the summertime. Not only do you get the mintiness from the menthol, you also get that fresh blueberry scent for summertime. Just a great combo here, Arctic Blueberry. I talked about this a little bit in my other video. Really, really great menthol. Not too overpowering, but there is some good menthol in here. Poppy seeds for exfoliation. And the, the blueberry is just a nice refreshing touch. So really, really good bar here. That's my number three, but it's still, I don't know, this is tough. I wanted to make this a number, a top two bar, but because of some more recent bars that I've tried, I had to drop this down to number three. Originally, Icy Eucalyptus and Arctic Blueberry were my top one and two, but the past two menthol bars that I tried, I actually was so impressed with them. Those are my new favorite number two bars. So one and two. So number two, number two is Malarkey's Fields of Valhalla. This bar freezes you with menthol. It's such a pure form of menthol. I don't know how exactly he does this when he hand makes it, but you don't even really smell it so much in the fragrance. Um, it has a very nice outdoorsy kind of nice sage type scent to it very herbal but let me tell you this bar will freeze you it will turn you into han solo i'm telling you this is just such a cool bar it's great for it's great for the summertime and i'm trying to remember i think there was definitely some yeah there's lavender in here too a little bit of mint but i'm, I'm pretty certain there was some kind of, I thought for sure there was some kind of exfoliant in here. Oh yes, pumice, there was, yeah. So there's pumice in here. This is a very, it's a very fresh bar. It is very heavy in menthol, but it's very, very fresh, which is really what I love about this bar. So that's my number two. That brings me to number one, the most recent bar that I've tried. And that, I, I was just very impressed with this bar. I kind of thought it would be, pretty generic like the rest of the ones I've tried. Not much of a difference, but there is. And that is Polar Eucalyptus from Grizzly Naturals. This bar, the thing about this bar is it, it almost smells more fresh and clean than any of the other menthol bars. Fields of Valhalla is, it's in its own kind of league, so I can't really compare it to that. It is very nice with the lavender and everything. But this bar, let me just show you this bar. Of course, we have all sorts of great all sorts of great ingredients in here. Um, this is a light grit bar. So we have peppermint leaves in here. This bar, you can smell, it, it's so freezing cold. But it's so fresh smelling. It's so fresh. It smells like fresh peppermint leaves. It does not smell like toothpaste. It smells like fresh peppermint leaves. You can feel the menthol in this bar. I think what really ties it all together is that they put a good amount of lemon oil and lemon zest in here and it really makes it have a nice citrusy bright after smell to it it's just such a great balance with the citrus and with the eucalyptus and with the menthol it's a great idea that they came up with and they do put a little bit of lavender in, in here as well so it has a little bit of that fields of valhalla feel to it a little bit of icy eucalyptus it's kind of like the best of every bar i've tried as far as the menthol goes, it's very fresh. It smells like a nice winter day with a little bit of citrus. It's just such a great bar. They really they really killed it with this bar. It does stand out from the rest of the pack. So that is my top five menthol bars. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and we'll see you next time.